Hi, fellas. As I have promised a few months ago, I'm currently making an app to do the Gatesburg post. Uh, so you can just double click and launch the app and perform Gatesburg posting, uh, recording, streaming, or even convert a pre recorded video. So even though in the original videotape, your eyes are locked looking at the camera, after the conversion, your eyes will be looking at the camera. And uh, here is the um, here I will present you the app I've written. Um, please uh, make sure that you know it is a test version, so please expect bugs and report the bugs of any feature requests to this email here. In addition, uh, to run this program, you need to have a uh, Windows machine that's uh, e either Windows 10 or 11 in 64-bit version. Um, the graphic card has to be RTX 2000 or 3000 series or maybe Crozier RTX 3000, Titan RTX or you know other GPUs that uh, have higher spec any basically any GPU with Tesla cores so like and also the ADA generation GPUs which are the 4000 series at this moment so uh, if you are having a like let's say R uh, RTX uh, 1080 it's not going to be able to run the program however if you only have a RTX 2050 it's going to be able to run the program in addition the download link uh, is in the description so please go uh, to the description of this video to download the video and also uh, to launch the program you just need to extract the downloaded zip and go to the bin folder and double click the iWood executable and it will start running. In addition, I recommend you to install a OBS Studio to do the recording and streaming on the Gaze Repose frames. So uh, now uh, uh, after the downloading, uh, you will see there's a zip folder in your download directory. Uh, it's called iWood.zip. Double click it. Um, just uh, extract, uh, extract it to uh, to any directory you want to extract it will just take a few moments to finish the extraction after the extraction is finished double click the folder go to the bin and you see there's a let me uh, make it larger so there's a program called iWord.executable with a i logo on that double click it and the program will launch and during uh, launching the program it may or may not prompt to ask you for uh, access uh, that's to uh, enable the HTTP uh, server access because the program as written here is running in the background and then it will open a, um, a browser to do the UI stuff so it needs access to the uh, you know the TCP port. Uh, I guarantee you that I didn't write any uh, harmful uh, stuff in my program. So um, yeah, you can launch it safely. You can just give uh, access if you uh, uh, still don't trust uh, the program. You can uh, open a sandbox and launch the program from there. And now uh, currently, this program is attaching to a. Uh, an inactive camera so that's why both screens are black just click switch camera it will it will be attaching on you know any cameras that's attached on your PC and if you don't like the camera is currently attached you can click uh, switching camera again and now it's uh, it just attached me my another camera as you can see on the on on, on this uh, to, to compare these two uh, Frame. One of my eyes are look in, in in the right frame. My eyes are looking at the screen, and in the left frames, my eyes are looking at, at the camera, which is which makes you feel like looking at you. And uh, you can also uh, switch resolution. Um, and you can uh, make it higher, but uh, please keep in mind that if you made the resolution too high. The frame will be laggy, and uh, it will. Uh, you probably don't want to stream this to your uh, to 
to your uh, Zoom meeting or you know to upload this to a YouTube. But um, to but if let's say you you wanna uh, you want a uh, high uh, high definition movie to be converted uh, by this case repost feature, uh, one thing you can do is to go to this tab which is called uh, upload existing video, and just keep in mind that. This uh, function will discard the audio track in your video uh, because of some performance issues. Um, so after the conversion, uh, the audio in your the audio will not show up in your uh, converted video file. Uh, but you can use uh, any editing software to fix this uh, easily. Just you know, re-add the uh, audio from the original video to the frames. And now let me demo you the function. So, uh, previously I've recorded a video of me messing around in front of the camera. Let me show you that uh, video quickly. So as you can see, uh, my eyes are moving around. There are many, uh, you know, chaotic stuff uh, behind me, and my head are moving around, but my eyes are never looking at the camera. So uh, now let's. Uh, upload this thing and do the uh, start the regaze in addition during conversion the camera session has to be off because uh, currently our GPU does not allow you to have uh, to do multitasking at this moment but uh, just click OK it will start converting and you can see the conversion uh, process pro uh, process here because uh, it's a short video so it's pretty quick and after conversion it will just download it Click it now. My eyes are looking at the camera, and then uh, nothing behind me are distorted, and you know. So this is a uh, cool, and you can yeah use any editing software to create the audio channel back. In addition, um, if you pay attention to the URL here, you will see that uh, instead of localhost, it's some numeric address. So uh, let's say you are having a MacBook. And a MacBook cannot run this program. However, you can still uh, you can still uh, go to you can still use a MacBook, open a open a browser, uh, input this URL there, and then you can set this web page uh, from your MacBook as long as your MacBook and your desktop. Are connecting to the same router and they are not in any VPN connection. Uh, right now, you might ask me about how to uh, record, how to record and stream the video. And to do that, if you click this button, it will show instruction to do that on the OBS. So let me quickly demonstrate it. Um, so here, this is my OBS a program running so far. And let me uh, copy the following link. And as instructed. Go uh put input the link into the URL a uh, bar of the uh, browser source. So click this A button, find browser, click OK. Yeah, copy paste here, and now you can see my eyes. Um, you can see, you know, it's just like a normal random uh, camera. Uh, it, the the difference is that my eyes are looking at uh, the camera, even though I'm not. So um. You can also uh, extract, yeah, do things like this. So it covers the whole region of your recorded and then click uh, start virtual camera. Let me, yeah, so now you start it and then you open your Zoom meeting app. There will, there will be a new camera called uh, OBS virtual cam. It will show that in your, in your uh, webcam selection, select that uh, OBS virtual uh, webcam and then and then uh, you know you can just use your your uh, eye repose your gaze repose uh, frames on the in the meeting even though your eyes may be looking at the transcript rather than the camera now let me stop the virtual camera and uh, yeah so that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching and please go ahead and download this uh, uh, program play, ar play around with it uh, try and find, try help me find something to improve. Send me the email. Just 
to to this iword at gmail.com and thanks for watching